Good morning, or whenever you're watching this. Uh, so today we have a real question. What do I think of gay marriage? Apparently someone wants me to be uh, hitched. Um, what do I think of gay marriage? We should all have the right to marry or none of us have the right to marry? Like, like what, do I, what do I think about a, a uh, legal entitlement in society. Should everyone have it? Yes, uh, of course. Um, it's interesting to me, for me, the fight for gay marriage was always about not the great desire to enter into the institution of marriage myself. It was never about um, having like, oh, and I'm gonna have some big fabulous wedding and the church I went to as a kid. Um, it was never about obtaining that, and it was never about obtaining approval, which I think for some people it is. It's, it's, it's a signal of acceptance that our lifestyle is um, accepted by the patriarchy, by heterosexual society that, oh, you're now allowed in the club. You're, you're normal like us. You're not on fringe anymore. You're normal. And quite frankly, I like operating in the fringes. I find normal very boring. Um, I have no interest in normal. So for me, it was always just about equality. If you have something or they are able to do something, I should be able to do it too, if I want to. Having the option. I look at gay marriage the same way that I look at abortion. Your body, your choice. Oh, this one's not getting posted. <laughs> at least I entertain myself. Um, yeah, I... I <laughs> we're gonna cut that. Um, you should just have the option to, to do it if you want to, and all of your friends should be able to support you or talk you out of it, but it should be your decision at the end of the day. Um, do we need it? Do we need gay marriage? Well, think about, think about the purpose behind marriage. Just, just historically, it was a property transaction. The woman, part of the property of the day, was uh, exchanged into another family um, in exchange for goods, services, accumulated power, um, land rights. It was a transaction. It was, it was through this union, these two families stand to gain greater property, prestige, whatever from from the you know i'm not talking about aristocracy i'm also talking about you know this family of farmers has two cows and this family of farmers has two cows so let's uh let's get our eldest daughter and youngest and eldest son married and now together we have four cows you know like so <laughs> do gays you know that's really not the purpose of well in western society society generally is not really the purpose, though I'm sure people get married for all sorts of reasons. Hashtag reasons. Um, but no, do, uh, yes, I'm sure if um, Adam and Steve uh, got married, their combined full collector set of, of wicked snow globes will uh, sell much better in the estate sale on eBay uh, together than separately. But no, no great need to combine property for us so it's about love but you know the state it's a legal institution it's a religious institution we have made as a society marriage about love but it's not not even today not even outside of the property transaction is it about love it's about um structuring society in a way in which people will have the obligation to take care of each other. So the state 
has a very vested interest in you getting married because that means that that dude is gonna take care of you when you're sick, uh, when you gamble all your money away, when um, you decide to, to go down a K-hole, uh, your journey. Um, <laughs> that's, that's what the state wants. They want you guys to take care of each other instead of the state having to do it. Um, so that's their vested interest in marriage. They don't give a shit whether you love each other or not. And also because when society structures itself in these units, um, it's much more orderly. It's really just bringing order to the chaos of humanity. And religion, it's about, or it's been about families, that we like a family unit. Uh, we don't want, I, I'm gonna take we out of this. I'm gonna take myself out of the, the we here. Society does not want, um, doesn't want chaotic upbringings or unclear family roles or all of that. But I think as we have, as a society, come to accept different lifestyles, different partnerships, um, as nothing moral, with, with, with no moral judgment, we have realized that we don't need to structure ourselves that way in order to survive. We don't need, we don't need it. I'm very much of the opinion that we should have it because they have it if we want it, but that we don't need it. Sure, there are tax benefits which are created so that as an, in, as a, as an incentive to do it, so that you structure, to structure society in the way that the state wants society structured, the way we've historically wanted society structured. Um, but I really think you should just do what makes you happy. If you are in a committed relationship or a, a open relationship or a poly relationship or have a series of really connected flings, um, uh, affairs, trade, trade. Am I using that correctly? I'm never sure if I'm using that term correctly. I don't really say a lot in my everyday life. Um, comment below, correct usage of the word trade. Is it just like a hookup? Is there something more specific about it? Is it solely in the drag queen world, which is where I hear it? Ooh, I'm gonna talk about drag queens next week, I think. Yeah. Um, uh, if you have any of those things and you're happy, just be happy. Just do what makes you happy. If that is getting married, great. If it's not, don't. <laughs> that's, that's what I think about gay marriage. Don't let anyone pressure you into fitting someone else's ideal of the correct way to live one's life. Um, don't let anybody force that onto you. We're all very different. We all have different thoughts, different opinions, different things that make us happy. So only do the things that make you happy and don't let the fact that a majority of certain people do something or something is expected ultimately make you unhappy. Do what makes you happy. That's a good thing to end on. Do what makes you happy.